So this is my idea. And as you can see, I've had it a while, but I haven't had a great response from the dental profession. And I mean, we're all busy and, and that's what I'm trying to address. So this is what it is and calling it an argument's sake, a dental health service, because what we have at the moment is well, a treatment service, but it's not funded. It's certainly not funded adequately for the vast majority. So let's not go into that, but let's use some of the technology that's available now that wasn't available when I qualified back in 82. We can use the cloud. We knew that existed. And this is what we'd used. I think it was started in the late eighties. We did this peer review and I really enjoyed this. And then we stopped getting paid for it. So we stopped, which was a mistake on our part. And I started doing it again about 10 years ago. So we had groups of dentists in it. And occasionally we had uh, some, well, I had some academics in it who um, knew a lot about dentistry and some did both. Uh, also had hygienists and therapists involved. And uh, really we should have had more nurses involved. And that's what it's about. We also had some doctors giving talks on it. And we had a doctor from talking about sepsis, which is why it's in the current version of the app that I made. Uh, but we should have had people who work in IT uh, explaining what we could do and we couldn't do. And also a member of the public, because we talk, you know, I think you talk like a, like a birdcage. It's not called a birdcage, but we just talked amongst ourselves and we often miss what people, you know, what people want or quite frankly can understand. Often we try to make ourselves too clever, but we can use this, which is clever. And um, if we use the, the computer people, they can tell us what we can and can't put in when we're asking questions. I mean, we don't even need to type now. Anyway, if we put this all on a cloud and we collaborate, then you just miss that behind me. There's a picture there showing a computer and we can put a website. Now, the only people, lots of people look at websites as just bots. More people are, are more familiar with this. You can still see a website on your mobile phone. It's a mobile website, but if we use an app, we can make that interactive and ideally engage with the public. And maybe the public can tell us what they want. The uh, IT guys can tell us how to do it. And most of the stuff I've learned, I've learned on YouTube, which is what you're looking at now. And the other thing I use is audio books or podcasts. And we can use all of these to help, our, you know, help improve our knowledge and help support one another and just get engaged, you know, and, and learn stuff. It's interesting. And yeah, we could have a, a shopping cart, you know, of products that we recommend uh, for, you know, and generally we all recommend something extremely similar. I'm not big on charcoal toothpaste or wherever it is at the moment. But people trust us, the public trust us. Now, if we can share our knowledge and we have different people in different areas actually using the AI to help improve videos, to help improve the content, then it'll ultimately it just frees up time for all of us. And you never know, maybe we can do what Steve Jobs did when he opened his Apple shops. Maybe we can just start from scratch and develop something that will help support the general public with their health because dentistry should be central to health delivery. You know, people say the, the mouth is the sentinel of the body or the barometer of our general health. So let's promote that. Even if we don't work within the National Health Service, we can have our own dental health service if we work in it or we don't. And for my references, just go on YouTube. You can see where I started. I think most of them are on there. There's hundreds of them. Yeah, 256. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, look and see what I've done, what you like, what you don't like, but more importantly, what your patients like and they don't like. And let's, uh, let's move forward. Let's stop whinging about the National Health Service and dentistry within it. Let's do something different. We can't help everybody, but you never know if we all click together. Maybe we will.